fluoroscopic and endoscopic calcaneal exostosis resection and Achilles tendon debridement for insertional Achilles tendinopathy. The patient is placed in the prone position with the medial heel on the table. The portals are marked 1 cm proximal and 1 cm distal to the exostosis on the lateral heel under fluoroscopic guidance. Five millimeter skin incisions are made at the planned portals. A raspatrium is introduced through the portals and blunt dissection around the exostosis is performed. A 3 mm hooded abrasion burr is introduced through the proximal portal, and the exostosis is resected under fluoroscopic guidance. Care is taken not to damage the normal insertion of the Achilles tendon while manipulating the resection. The surgeon checks the edges resection by rotating the calcaneus internally and externally under fluoroscopic guidance. The space remaining after resecting the exostosis is used as the endoscopy working space. A 2.3 mm 30 degrees endoscope is introduced through the distal portal. Washing away the debris with endoscopic water gradually makes the structures identifiable. The degenerated portion of the Achilles tendon, originally attached to the exostosis and released by resection, is visualized as a free end with a pale yellow appearance. It is unlike a normal tendon and bone but rather a hybrid of the two tissues. This degenerated portion is resected and debrided endoscopically. A postoperative radiograph is obtained in the operating room to confirm complete resection of the exostosis and intertendon ossification. The wound is sutured using 4-0 nylon. A baloney posterior splint is applied with the ankle in a neutral position. Postoperative care. Full weight bearing with a baloney splint and active range of motion exercises without a splint are initiated one day postoperatively. The sutures are removed two weeks after surgery, and the splint is removed three weeks after surgery. Jogging is initiated two months after surgery, and a return to unrestricted sports activities is allowed three months after surgery. Magnetic resonance imaging examinations one year after surgery suggested that natural repair occurred at the Achilles tendon attachment site. 